Good morning guys. So today is 7th April 2017 and today happened to be the World Health Day. So with regard to this World Health Organization in Sri Lanka is um, organizing an event addressing the topic of depression. So this is a very interesting, interesting topic that I wanted to talk about for a long time. I have seen a lot of people going through depression but really afraid of talking about it. Not just talking about it but they are afraid of people would, whether people would understand that and people would understand the agony that they are going through. So some people are like, they don't know how to address this, they don't know how to deal with depression. I have been uh, friends with people who went through depression and this is an issue that is rising in the country for a long time now. There won't be any better time to talk about this topic, so let's go check this, check this out. So I have Dr. Padma Silva who would explain uh, why uh, World Health Organization is organizing this and why now. Uh, so what, what are your thoughts? Okay, now uh, first of all to tell you like World Health Organization will be taking up a theme each year that is very much relevant to the health of the community or the public. Now. This year, the theme is depression. Right. Depression has been taken because, like, uh, if you analyze the trends, not only the like there is this mortalities and morbidities. Mortality means deaths. Morbidity means sickness. We know that uh, due to uh, like depression-like illness per se, the people who are dying will be less. Right. But at the same time, if you get depression, there will be so much of people suffering, and this suffering is termed in the sense of burden of disease okay now when you consider burden of disease for all the other 290 or disease conditions we see that by 2030 the burden of disease by psychological and mental health issues and depression will be the top most one practices at the time of practice of yoga at the time of consumption of food at the time of the resting or sleeping we take a gentle affirmation. Even now, it is estimated that there are around 800,000 people here in Sri Lanka alone suffering with depression. 800,000 800, people. 800,000 people. That's a big amount. That's a big amount. So we anticipate that to be more and more in time to come. So therefore, this is number one to make aware that uh, depression is there and it is there in big volume. Number two, that it's a condition that has a spectrum from very mild to severe and if you identify the precursors or the trigger factors and early stage you can and you can prevent them progressing through the disease and you can prevent it and treat it so that they can also live a normal life without any any so any any without any problem and that is why we want to do it right. Any uh, cause, like you know, main causes identified for this, like you know, the, you know depression to be increased, or like uh, being, in, you know, many people to be find themselves being depressed as time move on. Or? Okay, now number one, uh, like if you consider the demography, we our population is aging population, okay? and number two, we are moving from an agriculture based thing to a very industrial oriented open economy and uh, that sort of economy number three we are moving from rural to urban so we are moving from a very peaceful lifestyle to that of a very much stress rat rate type lifestyle right. and there are so many other causes like alcohol and uh, marital problems like uh, then uh, children's problems over studying like pressurizing them that that per se will trigger depression and psychological problems. At the same time, there might be other causes with uh, degeneration changes and uh, that other things also manifesting as psychological. A long time ago, people didn't talk about, about depression so much. They kind of, they didn't even know that there was something like that. Now, like 
is there like a fear to talk about this kind of, to talk about depression or like you know if somebody is going through depression is there like within the people to talk about uh, so sort of thing yes sir now uh, it's it's a condition that uh, people have attributed with like basically psychological things or psychological issues people have attributed with being mad right that right. spectrum if you have psychological illness they will attribute to a person who is uh, like not well dressed and we doing crazy things and that sort so therefore it has created sort of a stigma so you wouldn't want your daughter or son to be married to a person who is having psychological problems that had been the case and previously there had been not that much of treatment options also right. Right. so therefore this is a, this has been a very stigmatized condition people were not willing to talk about this right. particularly when it was affecting one of their own in the family because then the other people might assume this entire family or the other sisters and siblings will oh, also may, might be having this problem inherited it. inherited so right. then uh, it will create problems so that had been the right scenario we are coming from all right so we have mr ranil and we'll ask what is mr ranil's contribution towards this course Okay, actually, uh, I uh, represent an organization called CCC Foundation, and uh, out of two main projects, uh, CCC Line is one of our projects. And uh, CCC Line is a free, hundred uh, percent confidential telephone counseling service. Uh, we function from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, from anywhere in the country through any network. You can dial the number one three 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 one triple three. and uh, the call you take is free and it's 100% confidential right no information is taken out or no one else the information is not shared and uh, so we get many calls and uh, different people from different walks of life call us and uh, that's what we do right it's amazing to see all these people around here can help you with depression so now the uh, like there is no one course that this is uh, course no in the depression no. it can be anything it right? can be anything that it is it can be caused by anything for instance like uh, uh, let's say there is this student x student x might be uh, very good at studies so next year he goes to school b where all the same sort of students come so for his 5 years he had been great uh, class first so here he is class 25th yeah. so that can itself can. cause it so expectations and uh, like not only his expectation his parental expectations his uh, conditions how they uh, will react to his situation anything can cause it so we have subad from academy of design subad what is what is happening what, what do you all do what is your contribution towards okay. this whole so um, i'm a design student but i'm doing foundation but i will be soon at doing my degree we as foundation student realize that next year will be a very hard tough year for us because i will be starting a degree and it will be very peer pressure and very 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 difficult phase of our life we design students made sure that they can express through magazines artworks and these are some of the most important things that our design degree students get a degree students are suffer most of the hard times in their life because of the workload and all and uh, most of them are degree students wrote it and some of them they have really sad things they have written like inside they are feeling i'm inside they are feeling please help me but outside i'm fine so it, it is really important that everybody has to get their mental issues right and feel good about themselves so this stall right here belongs to my friend who does art therapy which is really awesome so when i see everybody painting around you know the artist side of me is just coming out so i thought i will paint something no fix it actually i will color something let's go We are in the, the 
us to Damrivi Counselors Association. Uh, so we'll ask what is Damrivi and how can they help someone who's in a situation. Mama Geraldine Samarakon. Geraldine Samarakon. Mama Damrivi Padaname Mano Padesh Kalaya. Damrivi Padaname Jacati Tamai Damrivi Padesh Kalaya. Look what happened to my face. <laughs> my wife went art therapy on my face. Look at that. I like it. Should I get a permanent tattoo of that? Should I or should I not? Should I get a permanent tattoo of this thing? Well, let me see. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did I? No. No go. This is Shimali, my friend, who is also an art therapist. Tell me, what is art therapy? So art therapy is a form of psychotherapy. It's where you use art as a medium of communication and also as a means of expression, especially when words are not enough to express what you're going through. So basically, like how art therapy can help with the, the like you know depression or any sort of mental illness. What, what is what is the process? Until through art therapy, you can achieve insight, you can resolve conflicts, you also experience stress relief. And breathe out. While you're breathing in, I want you to focus on your abdomen being filled with air and exhale it slowly. Abhidekina, Roshan and Givanda making <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably burnt. The weather is not helping because we are under a heat wave and the weather is terrible these days. As you guys can see, mental health is not something that you can dealt straightforward. So it can be dealt in many ways, in many levels. All these people are ready to help with this kind of situation in different different levels so i'm so glad to see like you know they have systems they have experts in the field they have people you know who really know how to deal with things so it's a complicated thing but we are ready to deal with it and i'm really glad that we are uh, you know capable and we are equipped to deal with that kind of a situation all right guys that's it i'm so tired so Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and that's it for the day. We cleaned the whole thing up. I mean not the whole thing, we cleaned our stall and we are heading home now. 
I want to have a proper bath and just lay on the sofa and wait. That's, that's all I want. So, as you guys next time.